Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add a Universal Windows project to your existing Xamarin Forms application. Now this might apply to people who already have an existing application and are updating Xamarin to a newer version that actually supports UWP, or this might apply to people who didn't have the Universal Windows uh, tools installed when they were playing around with Visual Studio. So once you've booted up your Xamarin Forms application, what we're going to need to do is right click on the solution, go to add new project, and we're going to be choosing uh, a blank app Universal Windows from Visual C Sharp, Windows, and Universal. From here you type in the name of your Universal Windows project, which should be the name of your base project .uwp by standard convention. And uh, make sure you put it in the same directory as all of your other projects, including Droid or iOS. A few moments later, it will create a Universal Windows project, but we haven't linked it back to our Xamarin Forms application yet. And there's a couple lines of code we're going to need to add in for this to work. So with this tutorial piece for piece, I'm following the official developers.xamarin documentation. Uh, I'll have the link in the description if you want to check that out and you run into any trouble as well. So first off, right click on your solution and go into Manage NuGet Package Manager. Uh, we're going to need to update the Microsoft.NET Core.Universal Windows Platform to 5.1 or whatever the current version is for the UWP package. Uh, just go ahead and do that like normal. And then we're also going to need to install Xamarin Forms into the Universal Windows Platform application as well. So once NetCore is done updating, scroll down and you should be able to find the Xamarin Forms, which will be installed on every other part of the project other than uh, the UWP part. So let's get that up to speed so that, you know, we actually have Xamarin Forms with the app. Next, go into the Build menu, Configuration Manager, and make sure that the UWP project is checked for both Build, Deploy, and that the processor target is set to x86. Next, we're going to need to associate the UWP project with the base project where our core cross-platform code is at. So right-click your Universal Windows project, go to Add, Reference, and under the Projects and Solution, make sure that you have the uh, base project, which should be the one without the dot extension, and uh, make sure that's checked. Next, in the app.xaml.cs for the UWP version of your app, find where it says rootframe.navigation failed, and under that, put xamarin.forms.forms.init and e as the argument. Next, in main page.xaml, add in the line xmls colon forms equals using xamarin.forms.platform.uwp. Delete any extra content in the page tag, which should just be a grid element, and then change the page to a forms colon windows page. Finally, in main page.xaml.cs, we need to remove the inheritance of main page from the uh, page class by removing the semicolon page. And under this dot initialize component, we put in load application parentheses new the uh, name of our app which is tutorial playground here dot app to create a new instance of the xamarin forms app and uh, don't forget the parentheses with that everything should be set up in order to use uwp with our main package so go ahead and select the dot uwp or universal windows app for debugging uh, and go ahead and debug it on your local machine or your device of choice after a little while, the debug version of your app, which may just be pretty much a blank screen, uh, should pop up. And if you're using a default version of the Xamarin Forms app, then once it's fully loaded, you'll see the line, Welcome to Xamarin Forms, and that is confirmation that it's working. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Chris. I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you in my future videos.